Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Welcome back to Goblins of God. Please. And uh, top of the order, Bugbear. Your friends are going up there. We never officially the character. Yeah, but we have to say it's still attached and welcome. Oh, oh, you're teleporting up there? Oh, you're so used to it So immediately you do your spell and you... And pretty much like Harry Potter, steam cloud goes, goes flying and then you rematerialize right in front of the tower. You look like you had trouble. It's not it's like I saved that one spell just to bust your chops. <laughs> and I do another perception. Sure. Okay, night. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no, night. Nineteen. Oh, yeah. Nineteen. 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 You distinctly see he is hiding behind a tree, the little tree right here, and he's hiding right behind you. You see his like little mossy butt stick out. You're like, I see that mossy. So you can. Point. I actually turn my back to him okay. and I look at my companions and I say. I described where you were at. Okay. In Goblin or in Combo? Uh, in Goblin. Okay, so I immediately he's like, dude, left tree, well, the clock high. Look for the mossy ass. It's It's like a grassy ass, but it's mossy. It wasted that. Okay. Hopefully it's a because it's best. And, and basically, he's doing a thing behind his tree. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but he's doing a little. You see, you, you confirm that that was him because there's some movement happening behind the tree. And you just hear him say, I said, get out of my swamp. The elves drove your kind out of here countless ages ago. We're back. <laughs> Hiding, you gonna just hide and whisper to him? This time, you seem to get no reaction from that. Oh, there you go. It's almost like he doesn't speak oh, so to Goblin. Now you are, sorry. Bullywog, he speaks fluently. Goblin, not so much. He may speak more. So, Claren, your bugbear wizard is basically zeroed in on where he is. He's behind a tree. You know he's 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 done he's doing something. He's wanting you to, to, to get out of his swamp. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of the swamp. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have to climb. Okay. So I'm still in the swamp. Give me an athletics. Nicely done. Just need fourteen. Ten or better. You bloop up there. You still have your movement. Um. What would you say if he's hiding? So, uh, so he's. You you were pointed out to me that he was right here. You, there's a tree right there. Here, let me put some some terrain on this map here. You got tree, tree, 
Oh, for right. a tree. You could put tree. Tree. We got a log down here. Um, and just cross over and step forward to the bed and pull the rest. Tree. 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 Okay. So you got this little tree stump at like chest level, so you just looking over there. So you little tiny from the edge sticking out. As little bug was going by. Okay, so Okay. So Ranger, it's your turn. So start off by moving. This is happening on both sides. Okay. So at this point, you guys are. Okay, go ahead and give me a deck. I'm good at that. You, you, and, 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 and famous last name. Oh, no, like the big company from the Oh, that was it. 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 Oh, that the ground start to crumble in front of you. As all of a sudden, where you were, you were getting ready to run, you realize there's a big ass 10 foot square pit trap that immediately the foliage starts crashing down and the tons of old man's beard blossoms there. And immediately, when the, 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 the refuse hits the bottom, you immediately look down and see basically a. They don't seem as interested in Warm of what's that water models just writhing down there as a group or staying together for heat. <laughs> and you realize that this pit trap has a swarm of poison snakes inside. And I narrowly avoided it. And you narrowly avoided falling into it. I'll tell you, by one point. Well, technically, too. Yeah. That's, I assume I that, that ends my movement. Uh, you still have your full movement. Uh, okay, so I like, you have your rest of your movement if you'd like it. Do you, you want to just go willy nilly? I'm not going forward. <laughs> I'm, trying to get the I'm trying to find him. Uh -huh. Oh, like this. Yeah. 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 Okay, you're gonna stick close to the tree. Yeah. Can I see them now? Certainly, chance that you fall back. From where you are told, yes. Between that and the thing he was doing, you can see him. Okay, I am putting my hunter's mark right here. Your hunter's mark? Yes. Casting that. Oh, I mean, if you're in the middle of the room, it's we don't steer, we don't steer. That is my bonus. I said that you steer so you can stab him. Saving myself was a bad thing. Yeah, that was just a bad thing. That was a bad thing. Yeah. And then I'm going to fire my bow. Okay, go for it. Oh, Jesus. And you want to? It went from what, 17 to it went 20? Apparently. All right, so. You know what is? All those arrows that were petrified and there's an extra bow. Yeah, yeah. It just, it firmed up the bow. Oh, Jesus. This may change the story here. And it ends as Hunter's Mark, so that does an extra D6 to weapon attacks. Yeah. So, so it's double dice. Uh, oh, Jesus. 20. Damn! It would have been smart to do that little knock correctly below. It saved you Bell, I suppose. He did say that, you know, from, from what he was told. Part of the no, no, he just. Yeah. And then you. Uh, yeah! yeah. And then suddenly. As, as you fire your out, arrow. And massive. you know why you got that natural 20? Because as soon as you saw him, mm -hmm. and his blue eyes saw you, he released the spell that he had cast. <laughs> as as immediately, okay. he turns around and based on you, yeah. entanglement 
happens. Yeah. You notice okay. this 20 foot area was, around you. I was come up and you see a massive Thankfully, force. none of your friends are around you right now. <laughs> as you all are seeing around the range of you. This looks like a place to. And you just hear <laughs> oh, a, a spell goes off behind the tree, and all of a sudden, even around the tree, the well, moss is rising and wiggling. And the goblin's legs, you just see swap, swap. Wow. Plant life is grappling the, the goblin's legs. Your son looks like some big boy. Well played, good sir. <laughs> so go ahead and give me a strength save. Right. You know, it's, it's got to be like your best. Uh, I actually got 16. What about you? I'm proficient at strength saves. So. Nice! Because you're a ranger. Yeah. And you just like pull, you see this little guy pull his boot up, and he's just like ripping his boots out of the moss and trying to grow around his feet. You're feeling seriously freaking emboldened by this. <laughs> I'm waiting for the other shoe to come out. Literally, a shoe comes falling out of a tree. Hey, like, oh. <laughs> 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 so, so Paladin, it is your turn. You can see um, flame. I'm going to make <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fire. <laughs> that's a bush. That's a bush. <laughs> that's a bush. That's why I didn't. I just left it there. It, it counts as, as difficult terrain. Yes. Counts as bush. You might want to walk around. Okay, start shooting. I'm going to make them as quick a straight line path as I can. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're going It's solid ground up there. You're walking past the buzz guy. Walking down the river. So you guys certainly see this one. At least this one, right? So as you come in, you see a number of listed. This way, because that's a pit and that's a tree. And the second you step there, by the way. Give me a deck save. <laughs> Do you sense a pattern to this ambush site? Who is really getting ambushed? Ooh. Okay, so you immediately step and you're looking at that pit and you're like, I'm not going near that pit. As soon as you step down, you feel the, the, the the ground get and you need to pull your foot back as a similar pit trap drops. McClurk's like, I saw this coming. Yeah. <laughs> and you 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 step back as as you just see it fall down and the snakes are doing the whole <laughs> as this writhing swarm of moccasins are there. You do still have your action if you want to try to, to like jump oh, over the athletics. That's something we do. That would leave you, you know, an actual yeah, is a natural. I have to take the opportunity to cast a spell. Is that your creepy armor? So, so describe to the group as they see you cast your creepy armor. Yes. No. The plume's going out of the ground. They're like sitting down in the and they're a. Yeah, so in the. Okay, it's so the top of the order, Bugbear. Your friends are finding pit traps everywhere. You're like, damn, I should Missy stepped across this island. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make some numbers for second. That's um, why you, they call you the murder Bugbear. <laughs> So these trees are pretty bad. So the pretty stout trees. You can see they could easily hold your weight. That's are not well manned right now. So this, uh, you can see. What about jumping that tree? Good. You can try to jump it. These two, which are yeah. totally secluded, yeah. have yeah. You can see a bugbear loading large vials inside. Yeah. You can see the vials yeah. are yeah. loaded crimson. The other two have, uh, okay, so you do, you do the whole <laughs> which have a little dexterity check. One of their spins yeah, no. aim it towards him. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to fail that. So I'm going to be uh, <laughs> at a As you immediately so like, you look, look at him and you're just like, Phew! and immediately your last step and you're putting all your weight into it, the dirt just 
out from underneath you, and you just slide so first, first shot, to a stop inside the pit on your ass. With a, with, as you look up, up, another bit of wall fades in and just splats you in the face. <laughs> How badly was your miss? I got a seven. It wasn't bad. The second one, it doesn't actually hit It is three points for the damage, though. Smash your And, you know, you, you, you look up and there's, you know, Swarm poison snakes in your face. Okay, bonus action. <laughs> what are you doing for your bonus action? <laughs> so, a large section of the raft is immediately destroyed. Right? So, all of a sudden, you go splat. And, you, and you, you whisper the words of magic. No <laughs> and you, as, yeah. as you yeah. miss right. through right. the moccasins, right. <laughs> <laughs> and you immediately appear right next to this guy, who's now trying to focus his eyes on you because you appear right in front of him. This could be bad. Oh, okay. Within murder bear range. Yeah, you have reach. <laughs> There's no reason for you to be right there, right? Don't keep, don't keep, keep giving him a free attack. Plus, it gives him a bit. That's true. That, that is very true. Not one with Lynch and Oh, yeah. So, that was an unexpected, uh, well, well played move. Well played. Okay, well played. Just so you know, everyone has half. Brown. Shit. Fuck your poop, so. Left it there. Shit. That was not cool in my plan. Shirt. That did not look as cool as it did in my head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as you can definitely tell from looking his face, this yeah, this was not how he was supposed to look out. <laughs> as immediately he looks at you, and he's locking eyes with you. Now that he's focused from your belly to your face, <laughs> and he looks at you, and he's just starts to fling himself off this. So is that an attack of opportunity? <laughs> that will be an attack of opportunity. He has an attack your life. No, no, he's... But he did attack this round. Yeah, he's leaving the... the oh, rest of this. Oh, he has your influence, and he's shape-shifting into a wolf. Is that, or... And he, you, you see that he is, with all intents and purposes, booking his ass as fast as he can. Your friend is does he look elf? You can't tell with the moss and the armor. Yeah. I can't do anything on my He looks a little beefier than most elves that you've eaten. Okay. Seeing as right. he's, he's the swamp people he's version of the group. I'm going to cast the lightning mode. Right. Those are temperatures. You can use that as an oh, attack pretty. opportunity. Yeah, it's uh, you create a light. A light. So, you know, that's the magic that strikes the creature. You can see uh, more buff rare things getting bloated the other. But uh, is it one that you can use as an attack box? It's a cast of two flame cannons, so I can shoot it. It is a But then I've already cast this round, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay. I am going to uh, hit him with your beat stick. I'm going to try to grab him with my arm. Uh, okay, go for it. Try to grab the wolf. <coughs> the wolf will gladly use acrobatics against you. So I use You would use your athletics. strength? Yeah, you would use your, your athletics. Crit, so 25. Shit! Yes. <laughs> One of the shots against the water in uh, Inferno. <laughs> As immediately, <laughs> he's two shape shifts into a wolf and he's diving <laughs> off the edge, realizing. Shit, the snakes oh, no, didn't work! <laughs> you immediately just swing your big arm and just grab him by the scruff of the neck as you basically you're holding him off the ground by the scruff of the neck. And then I'm assuming the other hand is grabbing him. So, yeah, I see that my quarter step. This is your choice. Because you're just like, get him! <laughs> and you scoop him up. Who's not uh, uh or foul or, 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 Well, you, you don't have any options in the 
Oh shit, they're actually going to get hit by a four massive I did 15 feet before spot. Because remember, this is an attack of opportunity. The, it's his turn. Yeah. Well, you finished your turn. But I'm holding him. Yep, you yeah. got him. Okay. That would have been a hell of a move, though. That would have been a hell yeah. of a move. Uh, the rat literally explodes. So uh, it is the cleric's oh, turn who's devising something okay. evil, insidious. Okay. And she's got this look. But it's the smell of a gob, a gob and skull. You hear, uh, the skull. By the way, I sound kind of loudly. I say, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, you want to move to get that tree out of the way. Don't need to move for this. Uh, what are you doing? I'm going to cast blindness. Blindness, definitely. I've got to make a constitution saving throw. I swim as fast as I can. What's your DC? <laughs> Do you want to blind or one of them? It's an either or. It's an either or. That's why? Okay. So the 12 is on my deck. As he rolls a one, <laughs> and all of a sudden you just hear this. And you wolf, it, as you've so got it, and its eyes all of a sudden glaze over magically. You see you're like, see, see, see. Let death take your place. Where's the point of that? Well, I guess I don't need to hold it to hold man. Probably just down and grab it. I'll oh, do that yeah. next round. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to move or anything because I don't know if there's any more traps. So. <laughs> okay. Clearly, they're not going to have three so, so, traps. So, needless to say, this pile of snakes go over here, and this pile of snakes go over here. Uh-huh. They're just like. They're stuck in the pit. It's going to be disadvantaged to climb out of. So no, they're not going to try climbing out of. I just see this wave of snakes climb up and fall down. They're just not. First of all, the druid talked to each of them and caught them and put them in the pit. Okay, so that brings us to our ranger. You see the bugbear holding the wolf in his hand. Yeah. What's the worst that happens? You roll a one, hit the bugbear, the bugbear yeah, drops the druid, the druid escapes. I bet I, he's still hunting, he's still marked, so I can find him. For, I, I find him at an edge. But he's also blind. So. In, and that too. Well, yeah, he doesn't know he's blind. He just knows he caught the, caught the oh, druid that shapeshifts yeah. into a wolf after he tried to entangle the ranger. You don't entangle rangers. So, rangers yeah. entangle you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to, again, draw upon yeah, the, uh, the multiverse, the energy of the multiverse, the uh, player warrior. Okay, that, your that, arrow's getting all yeah, all glowy and blue, yeah. yeah. and pearlescent. And uh, at 17 on the die, so that will hit. Yeah. He's grappled, right, so right, you right, have right, advantage right. with that, so that too. Is, you get Hunter Warrior, the wow. arrow, uh, and so Hunter's Mark is yeah. still in the face. Uh, uh, Jesus, both the eights came up eights. 23. Oh, and as a bonus action, I have. As uh, you're holding big. this wolf. <laughs> By the so scruff of the neck and the throat. It looks You're like looking that. at this wolf's eyes and they've just got a horribly putrid, dead yep. cataract. Is, uh, All of a sudden, while you're holding the wolf, it belches in your face. This most horrific howl. As you look down and realize that its ribcage has sprouted feathers. In the form of an arrow shaft that looks right in the middle. And it, 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 so <laughs> and it just goes drop yeah. dead limp in your hand. I think that's horrible. Yeah, I would. I would. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the best. Thanks. And then slowly yeah, yeah. you feel the bones <laughs> rising under your fingers as all of a sudden the oh, dead yeah. wolf corpse starts elongating into a humanoid corpse. And as you're just holding the neck, the, the, the wood mass kind of like hits your hand and just goes, the, the body just completely limp in your hand as the helmet falls off. And you Very see this, this middle aged human face that's got these eyes that, that, that look wonderful. And you can see that the cataracts are still there. And obviously dead because as he changes back, you're seeing just gouts of blood seems, uh, gushing from his arrow hole. And the sh- shaft that goes all the way through. <laughs> so, Snakes still got turns. <laughs> If you're nice, this little, creature sees, can, uh, can you let them know? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, but it, it comes down and you can see the <laughs> scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, as it goes from 
Can I have my shoe? Santa threw me back my shoes. Were they moccasins? So, so what do you so it comes down to you and takes the blood. As it dies, it runs through and then it turns and then there's streaks of the red destroying the light green camouflage. And I kind of looked at the head of the stuff. Oh, he's gone. He's been blinded already. He didn't see nothing. He just hears this sucking sound. <laughs> as, 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 as my party saw this, there's like some water or six that are still hurting. I'm assuming yeah. you're going up there. It's yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. just, just, uh, just a <laughs> As it flies <laughs> off, it's flirty. You need some iron. How as as, as my nose. <laughs> Uh, it's certainly damaged. Don't question the bugbear. Do not question the bugbear. That, that, that there is, is a valid question. question. As you're tasting this, this, it tastes like human blood to you. Obviously, it's, 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 you're, you're familiar with it. Nice, Story. nice, so, uh, warm, uh, warm uh, juiciness. Uh, you, can, you can see the, uh, okay. you guys are about here at this point. <laughs> you guys are almost there. Um, those two pieces are there. Okay, okay so let's take a quick rest for a Because I don't know about you guys, I need to use a rest Looks like they've been using it. So, I'm not going to answer. Uh, okay, uh, so. Did he close uh, the music music? Uh, no, I don't think so. Did he close it in the Oh, yeah, we can run the water. So, so immediately you've laid the body down, you've suckled on its armored teeth. <laughs> you kind of snap the air and use it as a sippy straw. <laughs> so, so as you, you, I'm assuming you're checking the body. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm So the main thing that you find is he's got a There was a thing where you guys saw bug that crawled on your arm or something. Them's not the edible ones. Oh, okay. So so you find it around his neck. It, at first you're like, gold, and you pull it out, and it's actually, as soon as you pull out the, the leather cord, it's a whistle. You know, it's sort of like the doggy whistle style of whistle, made out of wood, but the wood itself looks like gold. Almost like it's either some kind of special wood, or it's gold plate on it, gold foil on it. But you think that's actually a gold type of wood. So it's some kind of special wood, and it looks like yeah, this. Like, She's like, maybe we'll make an animated tree. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm going to do it down. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to blow it. I'm going to try to do it. That is a for our camera. But it's pretty. It seems to be a kind of enchanted wood. It doesn't seem to be magical. So you can only go with that. Okay, so, but that's not the only thing. That's just the first thing you notice. Then you, you reach into you know, his side pocket and there's a pouch. He's got 20 gold pieces. And it feels warm when you touch it, so when you open it, pour out the, the coins, a piece of black obsidian falls out with the coins. It's black obsidian. It's almost like it may have been an arrowhead, but it's been rounded, so it looks like you know, little scalpel ladles, but it's warm to the touch. Like it is if it like just came out of the fire or something. It's not burning, it's just warm to the touch. Almost like it's a magical hand warmer. 21. Yes. It's a magical hand It may have been something else centuries ago, but now it's just a magical hand warmer. Could have been some magical elven arrow of goblin slaying, and now it's just a magical hand warmer. 12 plus 13. And then really you, you reach into his back side from the back. All of a sudden you pull out <laughs> <laughs> You pull out a round 
or it's about yay big, it's made of some kind of amberish glass. And as you move it, you're realizing that there's a crack in it that moves. And it's basically the orb of direction. It's basically a magical compass. Well, that's crack. A moving crack in his crack. Because he knew what direction it always was. <laughs> he knew. He got a great answer. Okay, the most so evil. Keep going. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many months can you do that? that? So you have right the, the gold the wood whistle. Like You've got like the that. shard of obsidian that's warm to the touch, and uh, the orb of direction. Forty feet in the air. Okay, so from the front, you got the wood. This is how these things just work out. I want. I want to walk up to him. Are you, are you counting as dead? Well, it's not right. No, it is close. It just matters. Don't blow it. I won't. I should get the brighter and the liver I see a horrible theme. I'm holding an insight. But the other thing is, you kill either of those. It's a dirty twine, fall or die. I think you see through her deception that she wants to blow or not. You know how to blow it, don't you? Careful, bugbear's butt will reach around. <laughs> 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 So you give her the whistle? No, no, it's because I specifically said there's a possibility in the universe that these are not in the same Okay. You know the wolf's dying howl was pretty damn good. Especially since it was a point blank range in your face. They should cast a dead 32. I would like to ask Giggle Stewart. Oh, since you. So you like, you wave Giggle Stewart, who's been hiding behind the bushes watching, slowly poking the ground like like there's landmines for the next movie chat that's bound to happen. And, and you tell Giggle Stewart oh, to do it, and of course Giggle Stewart will do anything um, for you because that's how she is. The champion doesn't seem very good. Sorry, uh, the orc doesn't seem. She's proficient though. Slide of hand too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, a nine steal from you. Uh, no, no, what's your passive so perception? It's more than nine. <laughs> As you look, and her hand's just like, meep. <laughs> and she uses her disengage and goes and hides. <laughs> yeah, you came in the I want to take a short time here. Look, or you could take the show. No you you no feel fairly safe to take a take a break to ritually right, cast your because uh, that's all it is. Ten minutes to ritually you cast your identify. Find so so, so which item are you Lose, casting the uh, spell on? As he's taking ten minutes rather than that's six that's seconds. You go and uh, does it? Oh, you know that. If you don't go, then you'll lose your Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I think he does. I think it's like one minute or so once you finish casting it. Yeah, so. They're, they will stabilize you. Identify. Casting time one minute. So it you, is you instantaneous. I'll let you roll thrice. Do you have a pearl with these iron gold coins and an owl in it? Or do you have a component pouch? Which is why you always buy the 20 gold component patch because it can yeah. So, what would happen is you get rid of the Oh, so okay, that works too. Okay, so. Uh, uh, happy, uh, and happy antidote at the end. So, as long as they're in the area, they're able to get the antidote. Did you see the bottom part of that? If you uh, stay in touch with the creature throughout the casting, you learn what spells the video are currently affecting it. That's a cool thing to Alright, so you find yourself yeah, in this large city. And around you, you can see the number of. Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Why does he keep holding my hand for 10 minutes? So you choose one object that you must be touching throughout the casting of the spell. If it's a magic item or some other imbued uh, item, you learn what properties and how to use it, whether it requires attunement to use, how many charges it has, if any, and you learn whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. Made such that there are pillars supporting 
So, so which one of the three are you going to touch? Are you going to be paranoid and do the whistle? And there are large sections that are... Are you, you you going for the very difficult form of detection to confirm what it's what it is? Okay, so you do the whistle and you realize it's magical wood. You can show that they're magical trade that's not what you're picking up and it's just a whistle. It's just a whistle. If you could let her blow it, it would be completely safe other than blowing a whistle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, should you really have both whistles? I mean, what if somebody else needs to identify? I think I had the horn in the last year. Uh-huh, you do. The one that, the horn of waking. The one that you pick four people, and when you blow it, they're the only ones that can hear the horn. Right, horn horn. Yeah. Which is great for saying, I will signal you to all attacks. So as you go around, right, you're actually, this turn around the corner, you can see flames. Yeah, probably. Help, 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 help me. I'm pretty sure I saw this one three, four times. You're like, hey, look, I can make this thing go in a full circle. I use my slide hand every time I, I, I use it. Actually, so <laughs> since uh, that whistle doesn't do anything, or anything yes. it whistles. As you can walk by, you're not going to have the knowledge. Since it's not magical, you can have this bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'll leave her because I will crack her to a star. So, so she can go around. Uh, oh, you're, you're remembering the job. Okay. Well, you have my dress. So you get your. your da do you have a dagger, I'm assuming? Yeah. And you're ripping into his chest. Can you survive? I will roll to see how well you butcher this part. I mean, it's already skewered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tie a rope around the, the oh, arrow stick so it just sags on the arrowhead. Mm -hmm. I don't know how familiar you are with the game going. Yeah, yeah, well, he's doing this while you're doing your ritual. Oh, I'm just going to say, well, another ritual on here. Okay, uh, no. you guys can take time. There's no rush. The snakes are crawling out of their pit. Okay, so wow. what are you saying? Okay, so 14. You kind of have to get some spots, but you do a really good piece of butcher. Especially since there was an arrow going through it. Uh, so now you've got the heart. It's got this cute little purplish arrow hole on both sides that perfectly went this direction through the heart. So it opened both chambers to each other and just why you let out so fast. <laughs> it was, it's the type of shot you want to kill an animal instantly with. Uh, Put him out of his misery. Yeah. That's what it was. It was, it was a and the bugbear was yeah. like, I wanted to keep him alive for a while. To at least kill him, yeah, kill him yourself. You want to look the beater? Are you going to eat that? Very cheap. Oh, we're done. Keep it. So, so you wrap it in some of the moss and leather that he had on him. Because you did make a promise. He doesn't have a name in the shop. You provided intel for a reason. Okay, so so you guys basically. Every time you oh, sure. Well, because I wasn't sure about you know getting this back to her, and we discussed different ways. Yeah. 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 If I feed it to the bugbear, yeah. it's a car worth of talent. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 that yeah. would not. You get the idea. She either wants the heart as a trophy yeah. or as a magical component. As you walk in, there are other pieces in that. <laughs> Only if you can talk them into buying it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's magic. That's why I acknowledge it when I left it in the pit. <laughs> See? <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> wow. See, <it's> just, oh. <laughs> the bugbear walks into the dwarf's box and he says, Dwarf, I'm going to see if I can poop on you from this yeah. side of the box. Oh, and if I miss you, I'm going to pay you 300 gold pieces. <laughs> and the bugbear bends over. And so hits everything on the bar day. except the dwarf. And the whole time the dwarf is laughing because he's not touching the bit of extra. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the bugbear is smiling and po pulling out 300 gold coins, one at a time. And the dwarf goes, Why are you laughing, bugbear? You've lost 300 gold coins. And then the bugbear laughs and points at his hobgoblin palette of conquest and says, I bet him 500 gold coins, you let me shit on your bar. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and now I, he said, I can eat you. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of the bugbear experiment. 
Okay, so you guys basically have, you know, butchered the body, identified the magic items. You know, yes, the orb of protection is a magical compass that will always point north. Okay. And you have a feeling that you know this druid. If you could find where he came from, there's probably more. This is just what he carried on him when he was spying on you guys, trying to get you out of his jaw, out of his swamp. What about the shark? What about the what? Shard? Oh, the shard is just a weak magical enchantment that's like fading away. This is like the last of its magic that just keeps it warm. But you could use it as a, as a handle. <laughs> it's basically a magic, the equivalent of a magical trinket at this point. Whatever great power it had is probably as old as the Goblin Empire. Maybe it's some old relic that he found. I guess I need to. What's your poison email? You're always cold. Oh, you made it even worse. I now I get in Dutch. So, so you guys will continue the trek into the swamp now that now that you have a magical compass. I will give your next survival roll advantage. How about that? How can this go wrong? Yes. What yeah, the pulls out. The arrow looks almost like a. Uh, like a large uh, arrowhead that's been. Five and a half So it's like that. Or a two? It could have been two. Like a wolf's tooth? Or like a dragon's tooth. It's be too big for a wolf's tooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you know, you're, you're yeah. leading them no, no, forward. No, no, There's no, the no, desecated no, body up in the flies where you need to start. Circle of life is taking effect. Fifteen. Fifteen. So you are saddling the forth. You're like, guys. And, and then you realize the lake's got to go round because even the bugbear's getting, you know, mm -hmm. takes one step. Yeah. It's getting beat. And did it seem Okay, so you basically go around this, this lake here and, you know, and, and you come to a spot where so you see in the water, the water is crystal clear. Yeah. And when it's you're looking in this water, it's got to be from spring. Um, you know, your survival is telling you this is probably the cleanest water in this entire place. And if you, you look in the middle of this little 10 foot deep spring, and you see this crack in the rock that's probably where the clean water is coming straight out of this place. Go ahead and one of you guys can get our can. Uh, As we all look at the <laughs> wizard. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we're checking them. Okay. So, 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 which one do you like? It? Oh my gosh. See? Yeah. Now you so, just so, yeah, Now they're both defeated. Yeah, they, they That's right. I, right. I did start with a pair of one. <laughs> <laughs> one. I'm sure you're surprised, but you yeah. you're like, you're like what? What? it's a spring. You have a bad reaction. Yes. Okay, just because you don't trust him? Yeah, I got it. You're like, you're right, it's a spring. You got better. It's definitely got all of that. Okay, so you guys realize this is a great water source. It seems to be very pure until the water trickles off and overflows and the stag pulls around it. But it seems to be like this everlasting spring, almost like the elves did this to ruin the goblin homeland here by like, turning into wetlands. There's probably a couple of these when they're, they're nature crafters and the source of the land that basically flood the goblins out. That was one of their plans. Okay, so you guys are continuing on your little path, and you, you realize when you get into one of the trees to get a little overview, you realize that you're seeing. Jones so in the swamp camp. Mm -hmm. And then up ahead, oh, you're seeing a bit of a hill rise. You can see from the trees that the topography is picking up And then all of a sudden, up ahead, you see what looks like stone that's been like crushed and crumbled, but it looks very, very structural. Like, 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 like there's a hill and there's something at the top of the I think we found our destination. But then this is uh, Shimmering Zigger. Uh, yes, I think so. I think so. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I need the swamp. They certainly It's all the biting flies. Yeah. How many of those you know, malaria flies have bitten you? So, so you're leading them on a really good path. 
Who and then all of a sudden, you know. our cleric, give me a... You are interested in me to uh, oh. keep everything together. I'll, I'll keep all you sleep if that's necessary. Um, it's better than what is. So uh, perhaps I can give you some information. 14. Oh. Yeah. Immediately you guys step out of the underbrush in some solid earth, and you immediately feel this, this cool hand of your spine, this necrotic energy. As you realize that you are a priestess from death, that the area you just stepped into is un basically unconsecrated. It's on hollowed land ground. For a moment, it's horrible. And you're like, like oh, 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 oh. And, and so is the restroom in service or out of service? Uh, it's in service. I don't oh. like, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. We, we were wondering when we took it to the restroom lobby. Yeah. How are you guys doing? So, oh, um, can you hear me? Because we are only until 9 and 5 to stay a minute late. So just oh, no. We're, 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 good. we're coming up to a creepy rap <laughs> spot. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy rap spot. As you're feeling this unhallowed ground, and this is like a 40 to 60 foot opening, that just everything is withered and dying here. It's the only reason it's not overcome with You see like some alligator bones, you see some bones that look a little too fresh, some that look like they're from a humanoid, maybe a lizard man. And then she, she, it, it, Maybe so, and you see this know, weird, know. almost goblin so, looking you know, she she with the oh, and oh, I'm sorry. She she has three random secrets with them. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps even mm -hmm. the other ones. The, uh, but you're side. feeling this like oh, uh, okay. oh, uh, night. The uncool. Uh, so, so is this a? I'm enjoying this feeling, or is it a? We better get out this it, it is unconsecrated, so like if you were to have the ability to consecrate, which for you would be unconsecrated, it's unhallowed grounds. It's basically tainted land. So for me, it's like this is not for you. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's what you would like to do to make a place with comfort. Right. Great. So you get another secret. It's got a really nice energy. I like it. And, well, and will you absorb in this energy? I want you to give me perception, you to give me an arcana, and you to give me religion. A 12. You notice up ahead a few more light, very sickly trees, and then there's, it looks like a pair of very old trees, and you see a broken seal of stone, a hint of stone wall covered mud. Mm -hmm. So there's a bad call out of the So what did you get? That's more like it. That was 20, so 24. Right. Damn. Yeah. So immediately you were detecting this place is full of magic. <laughs> it's got some kind of warning up ahead. After you're sensing the, the what she's getting excited about, the apologist, there's, there's a permanent spell drop on this place. Okay. But you are detecting when you look, all of a sudden you look at some of the sickly trees that are barely growing. They all have sigils subtly carved in them. And they're elven sigils of old elven magic. And all of a sudden, you notice outside the Apollo area, there's more, and there are very strong, faint glows coming off of them. When you use your arcana to like notice it's, 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 So where the un, where, where the area is natural, there's a natural ensorcement. Uh, yes. Where it's unhallowed, the ensorcement is very, very weak. Almost like whoever unhallowed this place made it safe against the open magic. So they basically throw it into a cell with no furthers. Mm -hmm. We don't know what you did, just your undergarments and everything. And they as our paladin is looking, because you're, you're all taking this place, place, you notice yeah. one of the trees and then the head head for all the almost so seems to cool. have, you know how when trees grow in and around yeah. things, how like breaks it apart and stretches it? Immediately you look, and there's a tree up ahead that looks like three elves were tied to the tree. Yeah. And just from what you're seeing, you look, you've heard of this ritual from the ancient scripts. You know, that this is what we do in those nature loving animals. We crucify them, we try to make the tree grow. And the tree rips them to pieces. Because you're noticing that there's dying needs of iron 
into the tree with like a bone. And then there's like a foot later of the next bone. And then ribs that the tree's bark has grown through. So there's those little symbols so, where the bones are sticking out. So you meet with, uh, you know, with a number of bones. That, that basically they were killed on this tree. Um, <laughs> and you're realizing that this 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 was this is a monument made to the goblin gods in, in the, the way of the dead. Uh, okay, so you have no weapons. They literally say that you're not going to survive. There are a thousand dollars. I just see you're looking at this and you're taking it in, you're taking it in, and you're taking it in, 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 you're you see an entrance so to the temple. They, uh, You're taking in the, this, this place that got magical barriers that should be keeping us out, except for this place. Ooh, all of a uh, sudden, you sight. realize yeah. that, that ah. through the fog, all of a sudden, ethereally coming up out of the ground, are three specter forms that immediately, when the heads come up, you realize have the long, swooping, guarded ears. And they've got the intricate armor of elven warriors. And all of a sudden, for a second, you know, since, since you all rolled well, one of them has like a bracer on him, and also you realize in the tree there's an identical bracer thrown into the tree that like cracked and broke the, the myth roll of it. But you notice the identical sure, bracer. Yeah. It's like a dead so, no, And immediately they, so let's, they, let's, they let's snap this. their eyes in unison looking at all of you, and they're grabbing their scepter out. Let's, let's, go, let's go with this. You can give me. And that's a good place to yeah. wrap it up there. Yeah. <laughs> Five thousand gold. But you gold see the finish items. line. You and see the finish the line on the other the side of three elven things. specters, which are not nice things. Well, then but then again, I don't know what awards Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network, and feel free to enjoy our other shows such as. D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, and Scion, Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. Hello, this is Eric. And Wendy Strzok with Stone Valley Hobby and Games. We sell board games, card games, role-playing games, and supplies. We have thousands of Magic the Gathering cards available, carry Kickstarter products, and work with veteran-owned small businesses to bring you our own line of products. We are a small business retailer, but we offer competitive prices, a loyalty system, and free shipping on orders over $100. As a military veteran myself, I'm a strong supporter of our armed forces, their families, and contractors out there doing the hard job. So any order from an AA, AE, or EP address will be shipped absolutely free. Remember, StoneValleyGames.com, where we take your leisure seriously. Oh, we, we also have someone skilled by our hand. I mean, <laughs> you have a month to be out of town to warm up those dice. I love you. And immediately at that moment, Giggle Snort bounds out of the woods behind you, joining in with your numbers. Right. Well, maybe like Immediately, Giggle Short dies behind one of you and then disappears from sight. So, you know, I'm going to get a I don't leave until the second. Okay. Okay. Next two days, getting them an offer. Yep. So, yes, to Star Wars. Because after all, you flew through a building. <laughs> Who does this? He does. We do. It's how we do it, right? I'm going to have to do Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember how I said uh, our other party, uh, our, uh, one of our members, he has a bag of holding and he collected two goblins in there? Uh-huh. Uh, he was also the one that did that Elder Bolton and was dropped. <laughs> so, bag of holding popped open, the two goblins ran off into the woods. Yip, 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 yip.
Later encounter with spiders at night. <laughs> we're getting rocked because it's, because it's because it's a case of numbers. No, yeah, numbers are are more dangerous than kill all the drow at their soon. Uh huh. And uh, um, basically, when he when when he gets dropped again by the spiders, the goblins come back and save him. <laughs> No, 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 it was a, uh, it was a, uh, everyone gets one sort of situation. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> like, uh, well, uh, yeah, the one, he was really still happy that you saved him from the, the bugbear, so. You, you get this one. <laughs> it's one of those of, you saved me from the big other people. You will only imprison me in a bag of holes. You didn't kill me uh, He kind of left one of them naked for a long time. Until we found like we found a supply of like oh here's some spare clothes from an armory, we'll we'll go ahead and shove that in.